What's up everybody, I'm Matt Gary, and in this episode of Coding with the Force, we're gonna go over my brand new, 100% free, open source, character counting component. We'll go over what it is, how to install it, and all of the cool features that it comes with. All right, everybody. So today we are going to go over this character counting component um, that I've created and open sourced, and uh, hopefully you all will get some good usage out of. Basically, what the character counting component is is a way to essentially enhance your page layouts by showing you how many characters remain in uh, a text field, right? Uh, so one of uh, a common complaint I've got in a handful of projects that I've worked on is that in Salesforce, you don't know how many characters you have left in a text field. You don't know when you're going to run out. And in some cases, Salesforce, you know, will let you write too many characters and then not be able to save, uh, which is frustrating to users. So essentially, I've built an enhanced page layout that's all declarative and can be used on any object just by dragging and dropping it on there. And also use it in flows, new record pages, a bunch of other stuff. Um, but as you can see here, it looks and it feels just like a page layout, right? Um, but you can see that it has, for text fields anyway, it has the ability to show you how many characters are remaining for those text fields, which is pretty cool. And more than that, it has the ability for you to come in here and edit it and uh, watch it count down as you edit it. And eventually, right, when you get closer to your character limit, it'll turn red. You can actually set when it turns red yourself, which we'll go over in just a second. And most importantly, it stops you uh, once you hit the character limit. So I can never go over the character limit as a user, uh, which is pretty cool. And I will say this accurately updates rich text fields as well. So if you're, you know, if you've got a rich text field you want to display here and you start adding images or whatever else, it accurately calculates that information as well. And as you can see, it will do more than just text fields. It will place any field type within this form. Um, so pretty cool. If we save this, it actually saves and gets updated on the record uh, pretty seamlessly and quick. And now that we know what the character counter component is, what its uh, use case is anyway, number one, you can see uh, that it's very, very similar to what it looks like on a standard page layout. Um, but number two, if we go to the page that this has been placed in, we can take a look at all of the customization options that you have as a user that are purely declarative, right? Uh, you don't need to know how to code or do anything else to be able to leverage these things. So number one, if you didn't like the uh, section header that I had called uh, cool fields there, you can change that to whatever you want declaratively just up here in the top right when you place this component. So uh, let me just show you actually how you'd place this component, I suppose. You'd find your character counter component. drop it in here, and then it's going to not display it first because you at least need to give it a field set name because that's where all this information is derived from the fields on the page layout. So if you don't know what a field set is, if you go to any object, pretty, pretty much the ones that you would typically use, custom objects, standard objects, uh, you can create field sets for them. And field sets are just ways to group fields together declaratively. So it kind of looks like building a page layout, um, but instead of there actually being a layout in front of you, it's just a list of fields. And the character counter component comes in here, takes a look at your field set, and displays these fields in the order in which you've placed them in the field set. So you can always rearrange these fields if you don't like the order, and add new fields on the fly whenever you want. So again, all you gotta do, first things first, right, is create a field set. 
I've created a couple. So I'm going to take this account fields field set, bring it over here and drop that in the field set name box. You can already see it's starting to render because that's all you need for this to work. Um, the second is you can change your header. So if I wanted this to say account fields, I could. And if I move from there, it'll pop up that account fields uh, there. Second thing is you can kind of see that right now this is not displaying the same way as it was before. You have two different display options. Um, you can display the character counter component as a field section so that you can kind of blend it into a regular record page if you wanted to. Uh, pretty nice and easy. And the second is that you can display this as an independent section so that you could kind of place it independently on your page layouts if that's more appropriate. And also because independent sections are how uh, new record forms are displayed and uh, it's how you would likely want to potentially display it within a flow because this is able to be used in flows as well. So uh, anyway, so you've got two ways of displaying your data. You can actually display them both at the same time and take a look which one you'd prefer. Uh, in this independent section, the one up here that you're taking a look at, um, you also have the ability to declare an icon. So you could say, you know, I think a standard account is an icon name. And it'll put an icon up there in the top left corner for you if, you know, you want it there. So pretty quick and easy to set up. You can also make it so it's a read-only component if you'd prefer for some reason. Uh, you can turn off the edit button. You can also turn off the save buttons. Uh, that's primarily for different purposes, but it is an option here for you as well if you wanted it um, in your Lightning Record pages. So as you can see, really simple to just place in your page layout to set up. It's all driven by field sets. The field the display, as you can see, if you compare it to the field set here, uh, it's account name, billing city, active, description, account name, billing city, active, description. Uh, last thing I guess I forgot to mention is that you can change the amount of columns as well. Um, so you could have it as a one column layout as, a pair, as compared to a two column layout. There's that option there since those are the most popular options, I think, for layouts in Salesforce. Um, yeah, so that uh, honestly sums up the vast majority of what you can do with this component. But that said, you can also embed this into a new Lightning Record page if you wanted to uh, leverage it there as well, right? So if I wanted to use this in a Lightning, uh, sorry, a new record page, as well as, you know, just regular edit page, uh, lightning record edit pages, then you can do that. So I've actually got that set up on account already. And you can see it's pulled in uh, my component to create this account. And if I decided, you know, I don't want to create this account anymore, I can hit cancel and it'll go back to my current objects homepage, whatever that is. Uh, whether it's a contact or count or a case. And I can also, you know, if I do create a new account, like so, and I saved it, then it'll take me right to that new accounts page when I'm done, uh, which is uh, awesome. So uh, the last thing that we'll go over is that uh, well, actually, first, before I go over that, let me just explain, you know, if you wanted to use this in a new record page, uh, what you'd have to do. My channel is about uh, coding, typically. So um, if you wanted to use it in a new page, you basically have to create a new uh, Aura component. So uh, I, I'm not going to go over everything, but just know that you can't drag, you know, you can't drop this component in here because it's a Lightning Web component. You'd essentially have to create an Aura component, um, which we can take a look at one that is in existence. 
already. Uh, I will just pull it in here real quick. And we can check that out. So this is what my current new record form is that we just demoed in the account page. Obviously, as you can see, this is super easy uh, to set up. There's virtually nothing that you have to do. Uh, you just have to set up an Aura component that is uh, available for action overrides. Um, and then you would need to embed this component, the character counting component in it, and feed it these parameters, the object API name, your section header, which is optional, your field set name, uh, what type of section you want it to display as, and then, um, you know, whether you want it to render save buttons, all the same options that we saw before, but you'd have to pass it into the component itself. So for new record forms, there's a little more um, involvement, I suppose, because you have to make a very, very small aura component to leverage in your new record form. And then once you've got that Aura component built, you then go to edit your object. You'd go to um, buttons, links, and actions. Find your standard new button action, which we can see right here. Edit it. And then you'll pick that Aura component uh, that we just looked at or that you just made and have it um, and select this radial. Normally it's this radial down here, <clears throat> but select that radial and then hit save and you are good to go. So very simple, very little involvement there at all. That was like basically no code uh, or as close to no code as you can get for the most part. So uh, yeah, so you can use it in your new record pages. You can use it in your um, uh, layouts layouts obviously are zero code and last but not least you can also use them in flows so I actually have this set up as a flow on contact in the same way and if we take a look uh, we can see that it is indeed being displayed via a flow <clears throat> like so and you know you can do much more uh, than that with it in the flow if you wanted to you know you could have it as a part of a multi-page uh, screen flow or something but it is available for flows so you can embed them in your screen flows and uh, leverage them you know leverage the character counting component however you'd like but uh, yeah uh, pretty cool. The last thing that I want to show you outside of just, you know, how you set up this component is very, very similar to before. The only difference is you need to set up your record ID, which, uh, you know, it's a pretty straightforward thing. If you've been building flows enough, uh, pulling in your record ID is a pretty quick process. The last thing that I want to go over is just how you actually install this and set it up. So I'll put this link in the description of the video. Um, but you have this uh, Salesforce character component GitHub repository that I've made because I've basically, you know, uh, made this free for everybody. All you have to do to be able to use this is go here and pick the method in which you'd like to install this, right? Uh, I would suggest that you use unlock packages and I would also suggest that you install them first in a sandbox. But if you don't want to use unlock packages for some reason, uh, remember un unlock packages are upgradable. You can still see all the code and the upside of using an unlock package is it's all kind of packaged together, nice and easy to deal with. But if you really don't want to use an unlock package, I have given you a second option which is basically to just deploy this repo directly to your org through this deploy to Salesforce uh, button and you can just click deploy to Salesforce and um, deploy up here in the top right and it'll just deploy all the components separate from the package alternatively if you take my suggestion and you use the unlock package um, you can install it by clicking this button here 
and it will slowly but surely load up. Uh, I would just install this for admins. I don't believe any other users really need access to this. Um, and uh, yeah, just hit the install button and you're off to the races, I suppose. Um, yeah, but it's that simple, super quick. Takes you all of, you know, a couple minutes to install it. It's got really good code coverage. Um, it's a very small, compact component. There's very little code in it at all. And um, yeah, you can use it pretty much anywhere to uh, provide some new functionality for your users, I guess. So that, uh, that'll probably do it. Um, you can see it works for rich text too which is pretty cool. You can see it actually changed uh, the characters appropriately. So if I delete this, it's going to be a lot of characters, like a hundred some characters that disappeared. So anyway, uh, it works for pretty much everything. I tested on a, a quite a bunch of stuff, and it seems to uh, always perform pretty well. So uh, that's it. Give it a try. Let me know how it works. and. Um, I hope uh, you all enjoy it. That's it. I'll see you all next time.